Hey backpackers, this is Juan from Juan Backpacks. I'm here today to talk to you about a very controversial topic in backpacking, especially in through hiking. You know what it is? It's camp shoes. Yeah, camp shoes. I see a lot of people getting upset about camp shoes out there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, I just have my opinions, right? Just have my opinions. Uh, today I am going to talk to you about camp shoes. Uh, it's a fun topic for me. I love camp shoes and I love the uses of different camp shoes. So I'm going to talk to you about the three camp shoes that I use. First, I think it's important to know kind of where I come from in terms of camp shoes. Camp shoes for me don't necessarily also equate to river crossing shoes. Um, I think that's a real important distinction. Honestly, when I'm crossing a river that's significant and has significant flow, I want some shoes I know that are going to enclose my feet, protect my feet, and stay on my feet. And so I'm going to cross the water in my uh, trail runners. I, I never use anything else to cross the water. I use my trail runners. I never have problems with, with blisters personally, um, so I'm okay with them being a little bit soggy for a while. The trail runners I use drain really quick, so I've, they actually dry pretty quick too. So I never really worry about it too much if I have to cross a river with my, with my uh, trail runners. For me, camp shoes, the thing that's important about them is I want my feet out and to dry, to be in the sun, to be in the wind, and feel really comfortable. You can see how I'm spreading my hands, like how I want my toes to spread out whenever I'm in at camp. That's what my idea of camp shoe is. And that's why I never use any enclosed feet camp shoes. I always want my feet out and in the open and exposed to the air, exposed to the sun and the wind and everything else. I, you know, I'll even wash my feet in camp if I have water close by and then get into my camp shoes. Uh, it's very important that you take care of your feet and I think that open toed shoes are the best way at camp to take care of your feet. So that's where I land with camp shoes. So you can see here I've got three sets of camp shoes laid out here. Um, and so I'll start over here on the left with the lightest and work my way to the heaviest option. And so far on, uh, far on my left here is the Mayfly Amago. Um, Mayfly Ultralight Equipment Amago shoe. That's the, the um, uh, brand and the model is the Amago. It's a really incredible smart design. These camp shoes come in at 1.9 ounces. 1.9 ounces. That's incredible. I made a DIY pair of camp sandals that were a little bit lighter than that out of some insoles, but I could never get them to stay on my feet right using a bungee system that I, that I just kind of figured out and tied up. And these things definitely solved that problem, so I'm glad they solved the problem for me. The sole of these is made out of the, uh, corrugated plastic. It's in the website, they describe it as the plastic that's used like in uh, mail bins that you might see in the, in the mail room with the handles and they're made of that plastic, it's corrugated. They're very strong, it's very strong and it's flexible enough to really move with your foot. So I really like that. They take that plastic and they on the bottom they put some uh, friction tape here and here. It's almost like a very, very fine sandpaper for extra traction. I could tell when I was walking around in these that that definitely helped whenever I was stepping and moving. And then they also put that same friction tape on the top of the shoe so that your foot doesn't slide around on, on the uh, plastic because it is pretty smooth. And I'd imagine if you had some dew on there or you had a little bit of water on there that your foot might slide around too much inside the shoe. So they did that. The most ingenious part of this is actually the strapping system. It's got a toe strap across the, the whole top of your toes here. It's got an ankle strap here that, that can cinch down tight to your ankle. And then it's got three points of adjustment. You can cinch down tight to the ankle. You can close the distance between the toe strap and the ankle strap. And also there's a way to actually adjust the toe strap to tighten it up or loosen up, whatever works for you. And it only takes like about five minutes or so to go through this all and to tighten things up and adjust them till it's comfortable. And then they really stay in your foot. The first day I had them, I put them on, adjusted, and walked around the house for quite a while, stayed on my feet perfectly. Um, so these are really comfortable and I'll kind of slide my hand in there to show you how it works. So you can see kind of how it works. Toe strap, ankle strap, not adjusted because my wrist isn't my ankle. 
Um, but these are really comfortable, really smartly designed. Um, they do a great job over there making these making these uh, camp sandals. One thing uh, with these camp sandals, you got to know the limitations of them. And if you watch my JMT tested video, there's one on these camp sandals when I was wearing them out on the JMT through hike. But you got to know the limitations. And I think the website, their website does a fantastic job of explaining to people like, hey, these shoes are for doing laps around your tent. They're not for hiking. They're not for running. They're not for whatever. They're for doing laps around your tent once you get into camp. I would say that I did use them to walk down to the water um, when the, the walk was like pretty easy and it wasn't like heavy terrain. I didn't have to jump down over embankments or climb a rock or anything like that to get down over, go down steep banks. Um, and I did use it to do a leisurely walk down to the water and back. I'd say that's, that's fine. They, they were fine for that. But I definitely wouldn't be doing any, any serious, more serious terrain in these um, because as they say on the website, they're basically for, for doing laps around the tent. And if that's what you're going to be doing and you're going to be through hiking like 20, 30 mile days and all you're going to be doing at camp is getting your ramen together, sitting around and kicking back, these are the camp shoes for you. They're great. The weight can't be beat. 1.9 ounces. So let's move to the, my second pair of camp shoes. We bump up a little bit in weight here to 7.1 ounces, but we also get a more substantial camp shoe. Um, these are Zero Shoes DIY kit. They are, you buy them in a kit, you get the soles just as they are here. I could actually trim these soles out and I might do that eventually with some clippers, some heavy duty clippers to lower the weight on it a little bit because these are a little bit wider than my feet and I think I'd get away with that. But when, in the DIY kit, you get a hole punch to punch the toe hole, the, the toe strap hole here. You get the, the, um, the sole here, which is, I think it's a three millimeter, very flexible, but very, very tough. And then you get cord to make the strap system. There's actually a video on their website that shows you how to make the strap system. And I'm not very good at DIY and I did okay. And the straps worked out great. They fit right and everything worked. So these DIY sandals, I would say if you are, you could probably do some hiking in these, really. I know people on their website, they talk about people who trail run in them and to, who hike in them. I don't know that I do big distance in these things. I don't know that personally I'd be like trail running in them, but they're definitely more, ver they're definitely more versatile than the first pair I showed you. And so I would use these if I am going to go for walks outside of camp. And I know that without my pack on. I would use these definitely to like climb down an embankment and get down to the river, a little bit rougher terrain. I would definitely use these if I was going to be fishing and do some light wading, you know, just stepping into the water a little bit in a creek or something like that. And, and that's how I'd use these. If I was going to do some fishing and I fish a lot when I'm hiking, as a matter of fact, the whole time we we're on the John Muir Trail, we fished almost every single day in the evening once we got to camp. And, uh, and I would use these shoes to, to go in and wade and so forth. Um, the strapping system is really nice. You can see here it's got a toe thong. It's got adjustments. And you actually pull this part up over your heel. And once you have it adjusted, you just slide up over and it stays if you have it adjusted right. And so it's awesome because you have a thong, but you also have that strap that holds the sandal onto your foot so it's not flopping in the back and flopping all around. I mean, it's just a pretty awesome design. So these do stay on your feet really well. They are a little bit floppy sometimes because of the material, but overall pretty nice. The bottom, you've got chevron treads. I don't know how deep those treads are, but they're pretty good. And, uh, and so you give you some good traction, maybe a little bit of muddy areas, stuff like that. But I'd be very comfortable with a lot of uses, you know, beyond just, you know, doing laps around the tent in these shoes. And at 7.1 ounces, they're probably like the biggest bang for versatility that in my camp shoes. And they're definitely the ones that get the most use out of all my camp shoes, this middle of the road, because they're light and they're versatile. The next step up is the Z Trail shoes from Zero. Love Zero shoes for some reason here. So these are Z Trails. They're gonna come in at, at a heavier weight. They're 14.1 ounces. This pair, I weighed them 14.1 ounces. Um, they've got the Z strap here, really secure. They've got a Velcro adjustment for the, for the, the, the ankle strap. 
and it's very secure. The sole wraps around the edges of your foot a little bit. It's got these two little pieces here that kind of wrap around your foot a little bit. Okay, you can see, there you go. So there's some lateral here, here. Lateral stability there is added. And then it's got a, a cup on the heel. That's really nice because it keeps debris from kicking back underneath your heel and getting in underneath your heel. And, you know, obviously you know what that's like if you ever wear sandals, uh, it's a pain in the butt. So basically this is a really smartly designed shoe, camp shoe, comes in a little bit heavier. You've got Chevron treads, um, a little bit more aggressive than, than these shoes. And so these, I, I've seen people where they actually trail run in these. Again, probably not something I would do. I would be comfortable hiking with my backpack on. You know, some people would say, hey, don't do that in open toed. If it's pretty easy terrain, um, pretty flat terrain, I'd be pretty comfortable hiking these for a while, maybe not miles and miles and miles, but just for a while in these, in these sandals. Um, definitely, maybe even some light wading across easy uh, river crossings in these. Um, but overall, this is a nice sturdy pair. Uh, again, probably getting less use than this middle pair for me, um, but I could see if I'm not doing big miles and I know I'm going to be in camp a lot, um, these are, and I'm going to be walking around a lot around camp and things like that and just hanging out, I'd probably take these because I wouldn't be as concerned about the weight for shorter, you know, distances, you know. So these are the three camp shoes I use. A little bit about each one of them, a little bit about why I use them. So if you have a favorite camp shoe, definitely post below in the comments, okay? But please don't, don't say Crocs, don't say Crocs. I've banned Crocs from this website. <laughs> nah, just kidding. If you like Crocs, post that up too, post it up too. I, but I got no love for Crocs. So folks, until next time, get out there and do some backpacking, do some hiking, get out in the woods, enjoy yourself. See you next time on Wine Backpacks.